cheapest one. Alright. Let's see how this goes. Let's try to get a view where I can get all the mud in one shot. Move the Murray really quick. Alright, let's see here. Yeah. Double check the... There. Alright. Need to double check.
That hole claims me yet again. It took about like like almost five minutes to get it out. I soaked my shoe. Well, mainly this one. This one's not so bad. Man, this hole is mega deep. The exhaust went completely under. I don't know if you guys saw that good, but got a lot of water. Dirt bike exhaust seems to be holding up nice. But, man, I should have been wearing boots. Oh, well, it's almost dry. But it's very early spring here in the state of New Hampshire. And the crap that is in this mud, it's really, really bad right now. This entire area is really bad. This one is the worst because you have to climb these, like, I, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but these are about six-inch tall clay walls. Tried to make it up this way, but couldn't, so I had to go this way. Got my hands filthy trying to pull this thing, but it did it. Mostly when I went the other direction this way. This one has gotten worse over time with the clay mud. This is the worst because it, it doesn't have so much muds deeper. Towards the end there, because the exhaust was splashing so much water, my belt was starting to slip. That's what some of the squeaking was. It's, it only squeaks a little bit when the belt is engaging, but it was squeaking a lot more because the belt was slipping. Completely covered it. But everything's holding up well. As you remember in my last video, my foot throttle was having problems with, and I said I'm going to have to do Lucky 7 Mud Mowers um, throttle thing. I'm still going to do that. I haven't gotten around to get the parts, and I really want to continue riding with this thing. So what I did is, so you can't hold that, I'll try to show you here, is what I did. I took two sets of pliers. One, I grabbed the cable, pulled it through more, then I crimped it with pliers to make it tighter, and it stays on it a lot more now. I should probably shut the fuel off so I can do some more shots. You always want to make sure to do that so you don't flood it. But, worse mud hole, but I don't know if you guys see this, but over here, we're getting new mud starting to come. This could be my mud flex area. It could be both, because it's a lot of flexing, but, yeah, geez, this was crazy. Absolutely crazy. My foot is almost dry, which is good. It dries fast here. It is about, like... Maybe 55 degrees, so it's not the warmest, but it's not the coolest. Yeah, the worst spot for the muck is right there. Right in that area. Terrible, but nonetheless, Murray did it. Um, if you're actually wondering, the video... Whoa, that's a deep hole. If you're wondering if the video looks a lot better, it's because I finally got my tripod out. I'll show you that in a second. There. It's nice. It's a little cheaper, but it definitely works. You can move these to your liking. You can. Oh, shoot. My rubber piece fell out. This flexes. I'm going to have to pop this back in. It just pops right back in. So let me do that really quick. There. But, yeah, I'm loving this thing. It goes 13. I do wish I didn't have to step in the mud, but... I should have been wearing boots, but 